your hand was forced. It seems strange to me that you would get such enjoyment out of it. You enjoyed torturing those people. This doesn't seem in keeping with martyrdom, does it? John. I doubt I enjoyed it any more than Detective Mills would enjoy time alone with me in a room without windows. Isn't that true? How happy would it make you to hurt me with impunity? That hurts my feelings. I would never. You wouldn't only because there's consequences. It's in those eyes of yours, though. Nothing wrong with a man taking pleasure in his work. I won't deny my own personal desire to turn each sin against the sinner. Wait a minute. I thought all you did was kill innocent people. Innocent? Is that supposed to be funny? An obese man? A disgusting man who could barely stand up? A man who, if you saw him on the street, you'd point him out to your friends so that they could join you in mocking him? A man who, if you saw him while you were eating, you wouldn't be able to finish your meal? And after him, I picked the lawyer, and you both must have secretly been thanking me for that one. This is a man who dedicated his life to making money by lying with every breath that he could muster to keeping murderers and rapists on the streets. Murderers. A woman. Murderers, John, like a yourself. Woman. So ugly on the inside that she couldn't bear to go on living if she couldn't be beautiful on the outside. A, a drug dealer, a, a drug dealing pederast, actually. And let's not forget the disease spreading whore. Only in a world this shitty. Could you even try to say these were innocent people and keep a straight face? But that's the point. We see a deadly sin on every street corner, in every home, and we tolerate it. We tolerate it because it's common. It's, it's trivial. We tolerate it morning, noon, and night. Well, not anymore. I'm setting the example. And what I've done is going to be puzzled over and studied and followed forever. Yeah. Delusions of grandeur. You should be thanking me. Why is that, John? Because you're going to be remembered after this. Realize, Detective, the only reason that I'm here right now is that I wanted to be. No. No, we would have got you eventually. Oh, really? So, what were you doing? Biding your time? Toying with me? Allowing five innocent people to die until you felt like springing your trap? Tell me, what was the indisputable evidence you were going to use on me right before I walked up to you and put my hands in the air? John, calm down. I seem to remember us knocking on your door. Oh, that's right. And I seem to remember breaking your face. You're only alive because I didn't kill you. OK, sit back. I spared you. Sit back. Remember that, detective, every time you look in the mirror at that face of yours for the rest of your life. Or should I say, for the rest of what life sit I've back. allowed you to have. Sit back, you fucking freak! Shut your fucking mouth! You're no messiah. You're a, you're a movie of the week. You're a fucking t-shirt, at best. Don't ask me to pity those people. I don't mourn them any more than I do the thousands that died at Sodom and Gomorrah. Is that to say, John, that what you were doing was God's good work? The Lord works in mysterious ways. 